happiness through curiosity on TRS clips mrityunjaya hasn't this been the <laughs> the the eternal question mrityu's to, death to gain victory over death mm. mrityunjaya so that is the biggest mystery of life that is the hard if the science really has hard questions of science as they call it this is one what the hell is death is it just cells decaying and not regenerating if what happens to this human consciousness if there is such a thing so mrityunjaya is to gain mastery over death and there are many stories about why lord shiva is mrityunjaya and why he is mahakala and all that by mystery over death you mean immortality no it is the question right so right now we are here we have known so many people so those who are not there anymore where did they go what happened to them right is there such a thing as life after death what happened what is death even so if you ask those fundamental questions of who am i what is this life what is the purpose of this that is that should also be a natural question as to what happens to life what is happening to life where did we come from what happens next is there a next have you seen a movie called soul so you have heard about it's an animated pixar movie is this the one uh, oh i think i've seen it it's about it, death nicely made no it it actually was very similar to the stuff spoken about in autobiography of a yogi which i found ah, really creepy ah. that in a children's movie they're talking about all these deep concepts about life after life is rebirth. this the same movie where there is this one soul which doesn't find a fit yeah, in yeah, the yeah, ah, it was very it was lovely i yeah. kind of liked it it was in a fun uh, they tried to bring very deep philosophy for yes. children yes. like in a fun way but yeah. and i highly recommend everyone go watch pixar I soul think so i i do, i hope we are talking about the same movie you know we are yeah there's only one I'm, movie I'm, where I'm, they talk I'm about sure. souls taking rebirth <laughs> and all that dude sure, i don't sure. think multiple animated <laughs> movies are made about sure. these concepts but mahamrityunjaya mantra is worshiping one form of shiva four armed form where he is constantly bathing himself in nectar being pure and there is this very beautiful imagery of the personified form of mahamrityunjaya mantra the the verb form there the seeking is to liberate oneself from a uh, death like a god you know the god the watery pumpkin or god all these yeah, gods yeah. they separate from the vine the creeper if so they notice this and it is it happens so effortlessly it just mm. you don't even know that generally how of coconuts fall they look done they, mm. so they they it's not let me not go out with a lot of struggle let me exit the body in the in the most effortless way possible as if a god is separating from its vine urvarukam is the name for the god bandhana is the bondage from the bondage of this body and mind may i be liberated mukshiya may i find moksha like urvarukam like a god um yeah trayambakam so i trayambakam yajamahi i yaj worship <laughs> yajamahi there is puja for yajamahi all there is only one english translation word worship but i i do my sadhana i i worship the three eyed one trayambaka why in this particular mantra this form of shiva is being worshiped as the three eyed one the third eye is again very symbolic of the deeper state of perception as to what is the nature of life and with that realization that with two eyes we see that which is physical with the third we see that which is beyond physical that is the symbolism there and it is the agnya chakra before moving ahead mm-hmm. do you want to just say the mahamrityunjaya mantra once sure um, should i chant i'll i'll just say it out i'll not chant it om trayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushtivardhanam उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीय मृता सो दिस फॉर्म नाइस संस्कृत सेंटेंसेस नॉट एवरी मंत्र डज लाइक दिस बट बोथ गायत्री मंत्र एंड महामृत्युंजय मंत्र फॉर्म नाइस सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वर्ब सेंटेंसेस द यू वॉन्ट मी टू ब्रेक इट वर्ड बाय वर्ड दैट इज माई कम्फर्ट जोन आई बिकम आई जस्ट पिकड अप सम वर्ड्स हियर एंड देयर लाइक द की वर्ब्स विच इज uh trayambakam yajamahe i worship the three eyed one sugandhim the one who is fragrant pushtivardhanam the one who vardhan the one who enhances 
vigor and strength pushti comes from purnata and, uh, and it's it's like fullness vitality vigor pushti vardhanam why do i worship him urvarukam iva bandhanat mrityoho mukshiya ma mrutat so from uh, like a god separates from its creeper it's th- like that effortlessly release me from this bondage of death mrityo from this mrityu liberate me so it is not towards staying eternally youthful or immortal it is as long as i am in the body he is make me fragrant make me so shivam bhutva shivam japet there is this word which is you don't worship shiva just like that you become shiva yourself to worship shiva so whatever qualities attributes you are ascribing to your deity of worship the objective is for you yourself to inculcate such attributes so sugandh he is fragrant he is shuchi he is shout he is pure and pushti vardhana he is the one who in he is you know full of vitality and vigor as long as you are alive you live well and when you die you die with that effortless passage what This effect the, does the mantra have on your existence before your death so if you start saying it every day of your life or if you actually start doing that whole 108 times you live well a full a live a full fledged life they say akala mrityu which is untimely death through breaking the body and some kind of a disaster will not happen to you and when the body when the self exits the body it happens effortlessly it doesn't generally it happens with a lot of pain a shock a lot, lot of trauma is what they say yatana yatana is not exactly pain but there are lot of bhairavi yatana they call it and the, like there is this uh, i don't know how far the modern science has come to understanding it but at the moment of passage they say the entire life flashes for a, a fraction of a second and one goes through all the traumas that one has gone and then quits the body then leaves um, you have to live through your breakups again ja is that the toughest <laughs> really <laughs> i mean yeah. i'm I mean, kidding if, man they, if, if your breakups are the t- hardest challenges then somebody is then it's been a good life yes or it's been a boring life you have not ventured mm. to the hard pursuits of life mm. i know it's not hard is haven't have you had no you like if you venture into something which is new i hope it is not <laughs> <laughs> but you know you find pain in so many ways man life has its ways you live through all those pains again at yeah, the moment of death go through all that okay yeah, they they say but this mantra will avoid that bhairavi yatana and makes it you know if someone wants to understand the nature of death they should uh, look into this book called the garud puran ah it's come up so much on the up. show yes uh, and now you're kind of giving me a solution to the things mentioned yes. in the garud puran because yes. even the garud puran talks about the suffering at the moment of death it's a huge text it's almost 110 20 chapters it's a fascinating text maybe i should cover it sometime <laughs> yeah on the sh- verses of it it covers everything from economics to con- where uh, daily conduct to sexual activity how to con- uh, householders duties to the descriptions of heaven and hell what kind of punishments await those who <laughs> those who commit these these kinds of yeah. sins there's stuff a, like uh, you have to float through a river of boiling oil uh, the animals will eat you and give you the same pain that you have given to other animals by eating meat there's I things like that know. written yeah. because we've had a few people talk about it on the show hmm. but the question here is again about mahamrityunjay mantra mm-hmm. so what i have understood is that it's saving you from the suffering that you will encounter during the moment of death and at Perfect. the same time protect you from an untimely death yes at the same time it will make you live to the maximum potential that you contain as a human being brilliant Now, summing it up what does that mean live uh, and fulfill your maximum potential materially happiness wise yeah living well like healthy what is living well like pleasant bo- for this i'll borrow heavily from sadgurus because i vibe sure. fully with it what are the faculties that we are born with we have our body very obvious so no disease free body lovely like vibrant healthy body fabulous done another faculty is our mind a keen sharp intellect you know and and an ability to dissect through everything to see clearly what there is to see and keeping it pleasant free from sorrow all those negative thought mm. patterns and uh, you know uh, self inflicted suffering lovely great mind is happy you have your emotions there which is connected to the mind similar thing it emotion just takes some time to adjust 
but they are happy they are loving compassionate great and the life energy that is breathing how how alive you are how vibrant you know your body is and is it you know allowing you to wake up early in the morning fresh full of life or you know it's pulling you back in every pursuit that you are on so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more